What's upstairs? That's more rooms, the storage and an office. But it used to be someone used to be. I really like this comp. Really, really nice comp. Are you back on? Am I back? You're back live. Hello guys! Who is here? Do we have someone else here left here with us? <laughs> Hello! We try, sorry, we delayed for 15 minutes. We tried to go to a Zoom meeting, but it's not, doesn't allow Stacy to go live on Facebook. So we couldn't go with a meeting, but then we lose all the, all the webinar with the Westie. So I preferred we'll go with Facebook again. I'm really sorry. Right. Uh, yeah, they're really busy. Look at them there. Look. <laughs> Gossiping. Right. Oh, sorry, Westie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Westie. Westie. So, we will start with the Westie! Oh, the Westie! This Westie has waited her turn, hasn't she, bless her? She's yeah, been out for a wee wee. She was out for a wee wee, she was sit, sleeping and all the thing. Right. So, actually with the Westie, I forgot to check. Do you leave a chest or should be the chest under? But I think it should be the same with the chest. Wait, so it's, it's a bit like a schnauz. A bit like a schnauz, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's the same. Right, so, Westy. I can't believe you're asking that. Do you oh, she's talk? wet from the pee. Can you talk about <laughs> it? Oh. Where did you go? Where's the towels? Uh, towels? Where's the towels? If we were on video, you know what I'd say. Right. Westy. West. Hi, how you say the. Blue? West, West Harlem White Terrier. West Harlem White Terrier, yeah? We will do a Westy body with a West face, basically a round face, and you'll see they will apply what I did to the schnauzer is similar a little bit, and what I will do to a Westie, I will do to a Spaniel also, yeah? So don't label them, just think of the same style. So, again, Westie, uh, you see people, they start to clip them, and then they leave that line here, and then there's no separation between uh, the front leg with the shoulder, the skirt and the back leg, yeah? Again, it's a terrier, you should, you should expose muscle, yep. yeah? And it has definition. And it has definition, exactly. So I always like to do my, uh, I used to do with play five, but I don't find play five is really, really It's too short, short. I like yeah. to use like a three comb. Yes, or... exactly. So now I use three combs on the body, and I use on the flat work, sometimes I use a blade 5, yep. you know, to give that sharp and uh, the head edges. Yeah. Nice and short. Yeah, exactly. To give the head exactly. definition. So, again, I'll do the pads quickly. We already did the pads earlier on the other dogs. Yeah, so I'll do the pads quickly. I will go with the number one on the Spectra. I think more like a, like a blade 30. This, uh, this is a short pet clip as well, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is a short pet clip also, yeah. And also, this is part of the short leg terrier. So what we had earlier with the schnauzer is part of the, basically, it's not a terrier in England, but a terrier in America, is long leg terrier, yeah? So when I do the pads, I like to do, to expose a little bit, also this pad here. The back pad? The back pad, yeah. You're good, yeah, weren't you? What's that name? Um, God, what's your name? Don't ask me. So it's easy and. Sky? Uh, no, no, no. No, it's a schnauzer. Itzy. I forgot. Itzy. Teeny, teeny. She's itzy. No, easy. Easy. Oh, easy. That's the sister, is it? I can't remember. Right, again, I will go to number four. On the bum, and this is what comes. I never ever do hygienic area to a dog who has long skirts, like a spaniel, and also who have the back. So normally here should have full coat here. So I never do the hygienic area to a spaniel, to a, a, a Westie, but they, we have like long skirts, yeah. But with her, because she doesn't have all the hair here, I yes, will. Because the skirt, because of the skirt, you, know, you don't want to. All these furnishings would be growing in from here. So yeah. if you've done the hygiene area, you're gonna cut chunks out of it. So I never do that. Is she Lottie? Lottie, maybe she's Lottie. Lottie, 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 Lottie. Izzy, 
Easy. She's lofty. Oh, no, she's... Yeah, she likes right. lofty. So when I do the pads and then I do the palm, I go with, again with uh, the lower set and I will do the inside of the ears. So normally you should have see the tip of the ear. So it's a, a third part of the ear, yeah? The top third. The top third. You're not the bottom third. Yeah. <laughs> and I will do a shorter inside. And then I'll go with a blade 10. On the same line that I do the inside, I will do outside. So you've gone from a one to a four, is that right? Yes, so I go from one to four. So I will do the four uh, in outside. But there's so, only a four on your clipper though, isn't it? Because yes. otherwise we're going to confuse yeah, so it's blade people. 10. Yeah, so it's blade 10 basically. Yes. So blade 30, number one, and blade uh, 10. 30 no. on the inside, 10 on the outside. Yes. So shorter, more, shorter inside than the outside, yeah? Good girl. Good girl. Right, like I said, uh, I use an attachment 3 that's 10 millimeters. Because I have two clippers, I like, it's easy. When you have two clippers, it's easier because then you can use one with attachment and then you can use one with a yeah, blade. Yeah, but who wants to spend 600 quid just so you can be a lazy Watson? That's why you have to have a rich husband. It's very quick oh. to just change blades over because they're yeah, most normal. Yeah, yeah, but it's easier when you have two blade clippers. Such a diva. Right, so, again how I did with, earlier with the, with the schnauzer, yeah, where is the V shape into the uh, neck, into the uh, chin? Under the jawline. Under the jaw, I will go with blade five, and I will follow the neck. And again, like a schnauzer, I will stop where is the hook, uh, the chest, chest bone. Just and remember, I if you've got a dog with saggy skin, yes. so just pull that skin round so that the clipper blade doesn't catch it. Yeah. And I'll go down into the leg, okay. off the shoulder. Off the shoulder. Again, you have to see where the legs bend and then stops right under the leg, under the how split. Help me. Sorry, what are so, you trying to explain? So I stop with the clipper right under the. So that's under the shoulder. Under the shoulder, yeah. You don't go around like the flat work. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you're doing to behind the elbow as well. Yes. Mm, you, uh, I, I, you can. So I go from the back of the ear. I don't expose this muscle again. Okay. But I actually press a little bit low, low not very, very tight how I press here. So I'll just run that off. With a what? With, with whatever I'm doing. Yeah, but then I'm doing the body longer. And also, once I finish this, I will go also in the back, and the same with blade five, I will stop where the first rosette, and the only rosette actually. And then I'll go with the blade five on the bottom of the tail. So what I did now, till now, it's also similar, like in the schnauzer, you know? It is indeed. And that tail needs to be a character, it's a nice and thick at the base, tapering into a point at the bottom. Yeah, it should or not be a skinny tail. So, yeah. I, I so you that. start with the front rosette, yeah? The schnauzer tail, it was all one length, whereas this, it needs to be tapered in, so that it goes from the tip fatter at the base. Yeah, we'll show them. Now, again, I'll start on the back of the head. I'll actually, when I have a Westy, I'll put two fingers behind uh, the occupant. occupant and I'll start to clip. Yeah? You're using the attach three now. You, I'm using attach three now, yeah, on the jacket. I do like to leave a little bit of thinness on the jacket, you know? Because uh, when they are stripped, they, have, they are not bold. They still have a They little have padding, padding, yeah. yeah. I think it looks more natural to use a comb attachment rather than a five. Yeah. But then you will get customers that will ask for shorter and there's no harm in going shorter if that's what the customer wants. So again, right to the elbow and scoop down straight. 
And then the skirt, you should have the skirt under the ribs, yeah? So it's not like a schnauzer that I go really down. I'll go under when, when the ribs bend and then I'll just go straight down, yeah? So I'm now going inside. So the, the skirt is under the rib. And when I come in the back, uh, some people they stop around here. I don't understand why they stop there. But I like to go right where the hook starts. So I like to expose the muscle inside. And once I expose the muscle inside, I like to take all this skirt that's here, yeah, push it backwards and then put this frontward and I go just on the back of the leg. So I want to save this hair that's here. Okay. So here I scoop out and then I'll create the shape of my leg with the um, edges. You're using the flat part of the blade, yeah. so it's almost, as you're coming down, you're going to flick it out. And then I'll scoop it's into so, the... It's so gentle what you're doing, isn't it? Yeah, really gentle, yeah? Because what I do, you'll see, so once I do, once this is here, I create the angulation. Because if this was stripped, you'd strip all of this, wouldn't you? Yes, I'll strip leave, all of it and I'll leave just... Leave the hair inside I'll leave, of the leg. The only thing, she doesn't have this hair, so that's why, so I'm trying to leave this hair here. So you can finish that sort of skirt all the way down and the furnishing. And then I will scoop this out. But you see, it's not a straight line, yeah? You can see a different part of the body, yeah? The back leg, the skirt and the front leg, yeah? But the skirt's blended in so you don't... Exactly. You see a stop from the clipper, then the skirt, it all runs slowly yeah. into one. Exactly. You don't want lines, yeah? You want a nice, when you go with a clipper, you're down in under the, under the ribs and down. Under the ribs and down. And you can go a little bit in a tuck up to create because you can create tuck up for all the dogs. Mm. Yeah. I fucking hate <laughs> My good language. Good. I know. Right. Um, and then I will go with a touch free. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't have two clippers. Yes. And I will go on the on the top, but I will leave the sides. That one. Yeah. Once you finish that clipper, you should take it away. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Smith, your Weston's got a whip it <laughs> Yeah. Nice and smooth. So now we'll let Cheryl to do the other side. So the girl can switch round. Uh, uh, we can, actually. I just am terrified of moving that phone. No, anyway. don't move it. Goodness no, sake. what I'll do, I'll move the dog on this side. Oh, just to check, is it all coming through all right, the, the video and everything, guys? Any issues? Good. Oh. No news. Can good someone news. tell us if it's a good quality, please? You know they have uh, the simulator anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're slightly behind us. There's a thumbs up. So hopefully that means it's all good. Thank you. So I'm just going to match crosses. I'm going to expose his shoulder a little bit. That's with the blade five again, is it? The five, yes. Perfect. Thanks, lovely. Thanks, Dawny. Thanks, Mesta. So she's using the blade five on the chest, exactly how it's just maybe put it like this, no? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's better. It's just we don't want to move the phone because it's a good quality over there. <laughs> so who didn't saw before? I'm using a blade five on the on the on the shoulder on the chest, front, and then we'll use a touch three on the body. This dog's got rolls. So just try and lift. I can sympathise with that. Yep. They yeah. have rolls. Lift the oh, rolls. rolls. So many rolls. Pull the skin forward just so you get a nice even tip. I don't have this. Turn off the shoulder. 
And as Kosti said, the skirt line starts from under. As the ribs come in, that's where your skirt line will run off. Susie's saying she it seems okay. She has lost it once, but it could be her end. It could be, or it could be our end, Susie. The, the beauty is this is all going to stay up. Yeah, isn't this it? Is will be a non -stop. It will be here for four or five months. Here, anyway, so, so you can watch it back, and, and um, you know anything you've missed, you can get it. I know it's frustrating when you're trying to watch it it's now. It's really annoying. Give me dogs any day of the week. With, week with technology, you can go swivel. Yeah, I'm really 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 struggle with technology again so we're going to leave oh thank you we're going to leave all of this bring this down and expose the upper thigh bring it around just above the tuck This dog's got a really nice coat. Yeah, it has, it has quite a really nice fit. They, she used to have a longer skirt, but then the one that they wanted shorter just because of the maintenance, you know. So again, we scoop, we scoop here to create the angulation, yeah? So any dog, it should see angulation, yeah? Angulation gives beauty to the dog. If you have no angulation, they will look fat. If you, if you have a dog with poor angulation, you can still build the angulation using coat. Yes. So you leave coat where the angulation should be. So if this dog didn't, I mean, she's actually got quite a nice angulation, but if she didn't have the hock there, then you could can take you it deeper here and too. leave more hair at the hock to bring it in and round. Hurrah for replay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> So that's your clipper work done. So the, you see, it's so easy. It took us, what, well, like five minutes, ten minutes? Yeah, ten minutes, minutes aside. To do the, the, uh, but it's very important to use a nice length on your dog, you know. I don't attempt to take him too short because then you don't have that nice finishing natural look. And this is what I tend to do all of my Westies. Attach three, uh, that's much the shortest that I can I go on the, on the blade. You'll also find sometimes that you'll... You, some of you might struggle. I see pictures of people that have got clipper lines when they've clipped their west egg and it's because they've not removed all of the undercoat or they've not dried the dog properly. So if your dog is still a little bit damp, you're going to get those clipper lines. So it's really important that you make sure that you've removed all of the undercoat so that the clipper will glide through. If the dog's got a really, really thick coat, you can, this is a 30, but you can get a faulty and just card it through to remove any of that oh, dead undercoat. Oh, you can use a cooking, no? Yeah, you can. I saw on a on a webinar once that with with a schnauzer that the white coats you shouldn't use the seven blade you should use a five blade because otherwise you expose the skin. Yeah. Would that would you say the same thing with a westie? I would same... say with every single dog I would use a longer blade because it gives more natural. Yeah, life. and if it's white, you keep, yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. Take, ideally, you don't want to take a white dog down really really short because yeah. it can get sunburn. Yeah. So you can use a coking and it'll take all the undercoats. Or a cardi knife. Or a cardi knife, so yes. A cardi knife or a faulty. But or... again, we go back to prep. Yep. All this is all about the prep. If you don't have a good prep, you'll have a shitty groom. I'm telling the truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> right. Unusual for costly, to be fair. <laughs> right. Let's go back to... You see, I prefer where shoulder left here. I prefer a little bit shorter. Ah, this is me, that's her. Oh, sorry, Baba. Sorry, sorry, that's sorry. Right. But then now I'm a genius with, the with my scissors and with you are not, so. Not, not yet, not yet. <laughs> right, again. Um. <laughs> so don't give him any criticism, my gosh. God, you're going to get messages about that today. Like, yes, I'm horrible. You are all of you horrible. I'm horrible. I'm such a lovely Romanian rescue. Plus he has magic mm -hmm. fingers with hands to him. He I does. have a mat. Let me tell you, I don't like to be uh, to be uh, tagged for just the hand stripping. That's why I have spaniels and poodles because I want to do all around. I'll hold my hands up. I can't hand. I can hand strip, but I don't enjoy it. It's not something I like doing. See, I like. It's something to be proud of. I like on my dogs. You do an amazing job with hands. Yeah. I like on my dogs. Right, so I will take all this hair that's right here on the front of the bum. 
It's actually that really nice scissor. This is the Epica. So they have the, the teeth, they're like white. So uh, they're not really, really, so it gives them a little more texture. Of, uh, texture. Yeah. Let me see them. Let you see, see compare, really nice. compare with the thin scissor that are. Uh, so these, these are probably. definitely more of a, a blender slash. Yeah, I think so. Because you see, these are the, these are after a one. So you can see the teeth. I like them. Yeah, I do like them. And I like uh, thinning scissors and I like like seven, seven and a half inch. I like long ones, you know, because you take more. So you can see the teeth, they're different teeth. Even, actually it's thinning scissors because it has the inside, you see? Oh yeah. So it's a thinning, but the, the teeth are different, you know, they're they white teeth. Maybe they're a fluffer. A fluffer. Fluffer, maybe it's a fluffer. Everybody knows what they are, raise your hand. <laughs> Right, so she has a tidy skirt. When I have a waist with a long skirt, I tend just to tidy up a little bit, yeah? Um, I don't like this, all this hair here. So I tend, because it's a pet, I'm taking it to go straight down, but leave some padding, yeah? I like to expose my muscle really, really nice. Dianka, I hope I'm saying that right, is yeah. saying she loves onyx. You love the onyx? I, uh, because the young, she, like the she had, oh, you had the onyx. I have the onyx, but I have nine inch onyx, they are a little bit of a hand. Yeah, she likes a nine inch scissor. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Sorry about costy, everybody. Right, I will just tidy a little bit my thinning scissors. Good. And you're taking that tight there, why? Because I like a tight ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be nice and tight. Can you write? Uh, what does he say? So I, sorry, uh, Lydia is saying I've seen a lot of Asian groomers cut um, cuts are very short for all of the breeds. Only the European groomers have the sunburned explanation of why they don't use short blades. So yeah, no, yeah, we wasn't but... saying that. We were saying on a white, on a white dog like a Westie that's obviously got really, really sort of pink pigmentation underneath. You'd rather not take it too short because you're then exposing a coat that's or a skin that's not usually exposed to the sun to to sun rays. So you're just trying to minimalise any sun damage to the skin on a dog that wouldn't ordinarily go that short. Obviously, if you have a Westie that's always been taken down on a seven and it's got really, really dark pigmentation you're not going to have a problem. It's when they've got really, really light pink skin. And I've got some Westies that have almost black skin underneath. Again, so you. Again, with the a, with a fit, it's a, it's a terrier, so you can expose the nails if you want. Can I move to work there a little bit? So, uh, Wednesday they have the uh, the uh, hawk is low set, low set. Yes. Yeah. So it's not like a schnauzer. It should be like really up here. It should be down. So it should be padded. Can you? She's a little bit of a. Yeah. Can you hold like that area over mm -hmm. there? Don't you find that's a Wednesday thing that they yeah. dance a lot? Yeah. So I go with my thinning scissors, and I just blend this area here. But then on the on the bone, I go a little bit shorter. So this is out because you see I can hide it with my with my scissors. And what I do, I create. Are you holding the dog or not? Yes. I go right into the angulation, right into the where she bends the knee. Always I like to clean my table when I do it. Hey, hey, hey. And then I can see where the hook, the hook is right here. Where's the hook? Let me find the hook. It's right here, yeah? So I don't want too much hair in front of my hook. There's a padded hook. She's backing up. I know, she's a little bit annoying. Again, lift the hair from the floor, but with a padded, you see, with a padded uh, hook. All right, darling. 
Good to go. Again, the, the, the foot should be tight and elegant. When I look from the back, I do like to see a straight line. So everything that's here, I might just cut it. Your elbows. You're yeah, you're completely blocking. Oh, sorry. And also, you see, I did blade five on the bottom, and then I did a touch three on the top. Yeah. So what I do now, I brush it. It should be like as I should have said. It should be like a, like a uh, like a carrot, like a thick, juicy carrot, not like a, a skinny, like a, a juicy carrot, not like a skinny carrot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do, I leave it longer here and then I go slowly slowly, I make it shorter on the bottom. Come on. Quiet? No. So she can, is it me and my dogs? Yeah. Yes, bitch. Yeah. He's I know the ultimate them. joker. Isn't it? Aren't they rubbish? <laughs> Imagine having to work with that. For three years, two years. Yeah. Too long. Yeah, so it's a nice juicy tail, you see? It's not skinny, it's not like a schnauzer, it's nice and juicy, yeah? The foot is nice and tight, again. And should be tight also on the bottom. On the skirt, she wants a, a short skirt, so I will just tidy up a little bit. I don't have to do a lot anyway, because it's short. And then, again, it's repeating again, it's... Uh, a nice tight foot in the front, up on the toe, exposing the nails, you see? So we repeat, that's what I said, the, the grooming, they repeat all the time. It's just us groomers label them, and then you get confused. Oh, this is what I found, you know? Yeah. Because we're like, oh my god, I have a Westie, what should I do to a Westie? <coughs> no, it's that's similar true. to a schnauzer, it's similar to a spaniel, it's similar to a lot of grooming. Mm -hmm. You know, you do the same thing over and over, so don't label them. I quite like that, the um, Melissa Burbank's book, The Theory of Five, because it does... I've never read that. It's quite good, because you're looking at the different, like, the, the different styles of legs, the different styles of feet, and it's just saying these are basic, there's basic styles you're using. Uh, you're never just read transferring. That. So that's The Theory of Five that um, Holly's talking about. I'd have to... Uh, yeah, it's, this, it's yeah. how you look, what, how you look from what angle you look, actually, you know? Uh, I think because I struggle with learning very quickly, so I go to different groomers, I go to different, uh, I look at different things and I was like, well, but this looks the same with what I did earlier, you know, and, and that's the thing, is that it, all of them, they have the same pattern. Mm. So with a Westie, you should have front, short in the front, long in the back. This is actually a very similar sort of pattern as um, a Spaniel. Yes, exactly. Exactly like a spaniel. You will see the spaniel we do. It's exactly style uh, on the body like a spaniel. It's exactly the same. Again, I like to expose. You see where is this rosette here? So that will expose in my chest. So shorter in the front and a little bit longer in the back. They are like two legs, basically, in a way. That's why I was doing Again, you can expose the nails if you want, or if you don't want. It's no, again, it's no rule. It's what you like, what the owner likes. I do like to leave the nails hidden. Some owners ask for short finger, like the grass yeah. seats and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So if they want a shorter foot, you could always just use your thinning scissors and just thin it out a little bit, just so it's a bit tighter and easier for them to maintain the grass. And you see it's a nice, pretty, tight foot. 
and again gives your grooming very elegant uh, look yeah right now little Cheryl will do the same on this side little Cheryl so I can't so just a <laughs> minute ago you were doing Cheryl yeah <laughs> at least yeah. you admit that you're a big Cheryl lost my scissors now lost her scissors and her brain she has one. Well, well this, is what, this is what Kenneth said, oh, you don't have a brain. I said, at this list I don't have, at least you are, I call him like the brain damage. <laughs> Dead bra no, brain damage. Brain, I said to him. Which is very politically incorrect. Yes. No, no, it's, uh, I forgot. Uh, what scissors am I going to use? So obviously Costi took all of this out with clippers. So Look you took the slightly lower. It's just mine. saying someone's watching, that's all. What? It's just saying that someone's watching. Right. So you see, she's using scissors. I use the clippers easier, faster. But she's it is long... easier and it is faster. But I'm yeah, you know. I exactly. That's old routine. school. It's just um, it's a habit that you get into, and I'm only lightly dusting over this to blend it in with the scissors. I wish to do what she does, you know, but but you're it is it's definitely more time saving. And, yeah, yeah, and if you know, for somebody that's learning, it's an it, Using a clipper is an easy way to learn that skill. If you want more customers, you have to think smart, you know, because it's the same thing that she used with the scissors, I did with the clippers. And there's probably, for, there's probably not a lot of time difference in it for the time it takes me to whip that down with yeah, the scissors. Yeah, because you have the experience. Just, uh, yeah. It is the experience. Exactly. It's just how I was taught at that time. Yeah. Um, yeah. So again, I'm going to make go around this foot lift it off the ground at the back and at the sides it's already got quite a short foot anyhow yeah, yeah. she was she was groomed actually five weeks ago but the west that i want to bring uh she was away this weekend so this is a uh, backup so oh, okay the west that you was going to do no the west yeah the west of you was like seven eight weeks of growing so but they are going away so i groom him this week anyway so i'm going to just tighten this up here to expose the angulation of the hock. <clears throat> and if she had the feathering inside of the leg, it would run really nice and blended in there. We just need to blend that little bit there. So it would be like in a V, like yeah. this would be. So this would all flow and hang down. So you have like, like a spaniel, it would be in the V to cover the hygienic area basically. And as Costi said, it's just padding at the back of the hock. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have a, like a schnauzer up, they have down like a hog and it's just padded. This dog is a fidget. But it's a pet, you know, it's yeah. what we find in the salon all the time, you know. Yeah, you don't have a show dog in the salon. And if you have a dog show in the salon, you never be clipping, believe me. No, exactly. You'll be stripped. You'll be stripping this dog out. Does this the whole time? Yeah. Dances the whole time. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Beautiful dog, though. And it's awkward because this side, obviously, the camera wants to see it, but I can't get there. What do you want to do? Let me let me turn the camera. What do you want to do? Well, my, because I'm left-handed, this arm is blocking. Okay. Me. Look, now it's fine. Yeah. So you see, we go right to the hole, but. It's basically like two fingers, so this goes inside, so you you're know. Bringing the, you're taking this out to, to show the angulation. Yeah, so you this goes that. inside and then we do just the outside of the, of the hair. So when you look from the side, you actually can see he has angulation. I could take, maybe we can take a little bit more from here if you want, from my side here, so. Are you want me to correct your side? You don't correct it, you just tidy a little bit, you don't yeah. correct it. I'll, I'll correct your work. You no, know, she doesn't correct, she just <laughs> tiny up. And also she takes the wrong way. I said here and she goes here. Right, she... I can't see. I know you can't see. She never can't see. If you get it, guys. So from the side profile now, you can so, see the angulation. Yeah, from the side, let's see. So once this goes inside, you can see it has a nice bump and nice angulation. So this is what you want to do and create for your customers, yeah? I'm telling you, 99% of, of this, they don't actually understand anything, yeah? They don't realize that what we do. The owners, you mean? Yeah, the owners, yeah, yeah. But I like to give them shape on the dogs. I really love shape. Oh, someone 
said nice. I can't Speranza. 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 Sorry, I can't. Speranza. 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 Ta. 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 Speranza. Now, in Romania you have T and T. Si. 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 So in Romania you have S and S. And we have T. T. And T. 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 So her name is not Speranta, it's Speranza. Speranza. Exactly. Speranza. Yeah. I love it. My favorite, Costi gets all sorts of names from customers and my favorite one was when someone called up and asked for curtains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Costi, Kochi, Kota. Costa. Costa. Someone, someone calls me magic. Is magic there? Remember, <laughs> I say, is magic here? I was like, what the fuck is magic? Because my shop is called Animal Magic. I like it called Shen. 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 Oh. Some woman for years has called me and then she's quite a... Right, I need to put so people can see what you do. And uh, she called Shan. Is Shan there? No, my name's Shan. Where the bloody is Shan? Exactly. <laughs> so again, I'm just exposing these two middle toes. Because he's a Westie. And what do we know about Terriers? He expose the nice feet. Um, you don't want to take too much of the length off of this because you want it to hang quite naturally, like in a, the, the coat needs to be quite a long length, doesn't it? It's such a novel. Stop it, dickhead. <laughs> Stop. I'm just going to take the tips of that. I've, I've used straights, but I think Costi used... Uh, I like to use Phoenix scissors. Because for a more natural look. For more natural look, yeah. Right, well I have some... What have I got here? Oh, she has a chunker. What chunkers are they? And these are the Artero... Oh, that's why it's... Oh, you have the same idea! Elks. Oh, do we? Oh, oh, look, they've got my name on them. Of course, he's not the only special one. I won these. I won these but, uh, when I placed at Artero. Yeah, but I think you have the name different. Oh, no, it's the same. Oh, I just chose oh, it's, that it's the same. You see, I like, yours look prettier. I know people they don't care, but we like to, we do like to banter, to be honest. Curtains, no one cares. Curtains. <laughs> Are they sixteen inch or? Um, uh, sixteen teeth. It is sixteen. Yeah. Alpha. No, they the, uh, Yeah, it's alpha. Alpha sixteen. Yeah, they are alpha sixteen. Alpha, not alpha. They're really, really light chunkers. Really, really light. Yeah, very nice. Is that alpha as in like alpha dog? A-L-P-H-A. Yes, there are. She knows, she has Artero also, Dayanka, so okay, she knows. Oh, I'm just checking so people know. Right, so, front of the, the, uh, the leg should be shorter than the back, yeah? Mm hmm So now she's blending the skirt a little bit because she didn't took her how I did it. <laughs> she left it too heavy. So now, you see, I don't have to do nothing because I used the clippers, blended it. She's using now fucking scissor. Sorry, not fucking scissor. Sorry, I didn't know. She's using scissor. So That's now it's time consuming again. You see? It's getting much nicer. Is this the same, you know, with the schnauzer leg? Yeah. You get the outside of the front leg shorter than yeah. the inside of the front yes. leg. Is it the same with the waist? Um, uh, it's, this is more like a tube. Yeah, uh, it's tubular, it's, but it's... Um, because the skirt covers the inside. Well, normally you would have the chest flowing down. Yes, so exactly. Well. So you can't, doesn't really care, doesn't... That doesn't do anything for him, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did it be <laughs> I wasn't showing him my chest. <laughs> so they, no one can oh, see you, Oh, there's a question eh? or something. This dog doesn't have a lot to say. Says I'm really smart, that's why. She says, no, she doesn't. What she said really. Say, so, yes, yes, uh, you little smart boy that you are. Smart. Is she being sarcastic? No, uh, I am a really smart, really pretty boy. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go back to our grooming. Do so I you mean, see, I, I use the, the, thin, the trimmers. She's using the thinners. You're going to have to do this skirt from here because I just can't, where I'm left handed. Right, so yeah, you see, I don't bother myself using that. I will use this. There we go. So see, so go down. And blend it, it's the same thing that you do with, with, the, with the clippers, with the scissors. You've just taken all that forehead, it's not me in the house. <laughs> uh, that's true. I did a big, stop doing that, you're ruining it. <laughs> it all clipper lines in. All I want you to do, what do you want me to do? It, but what do you want me to do? Block the camera, just tidy my skirt line up. You can see it. 
Oh. Elaine Dixon just paid for the webinar. Okay. Oh, I need to add her. Can you add her? Uh, she'll, she'll enter later. Exactly. Right, so now she, she's doing, because you can't see, but I would like people to can see, please. Yes, I know, but it's a very awkward angle, isn't it? It's your awkward. So what she's doing, she's trying to... Uh, um, Level up the level up level up uh, the the skirt. But again, did you took the from the front of the? You see, I will show you what I think that she should do also. That I do and she didn't and I I have to correct. Her. I'm really sorry. Come well, on, come on, no, 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 so, no, 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 uh, correct. I, tidying, tidying. Tidying. So what I do, you see, I took all this hair from here and gives my nice and sharp. She left it very long here. Did you still notice that? Look. Is that blade? Pie? And this will stop the I shape. Didn't, but I didn't clip that with the, with the yeah, with the fire there. So you see, it's good to have different groomers and different ideas and different, uh, um, how do you call it? Different so opinion? really opinions. Opinions. Ways of doing it. Oh, ways, way. exactly, different ways. Yeah, different techniques. See, it looks more Who should give me a knife, bitch? <laughs> she should give you a knife. Nice. Right, so by taking all this hair, guys, from here, I will take more, to be honest, uh, you create the nice shape angulation, yeah? So this is what you want to do. And also, by taking that hair over there, you create also the, the, the chest, you see? Mm -hmm. The more you take, the more chest uh, you have. There we go. You're itching to take over, aren't you? Huh? He always is. Yeah, he's taking a control freak. Yeah. I am a control freak. Like, I... Can I see? Yeah, I see. I like all You're of a them. a bullet. <laughs> that would be faster, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Would you like me to finish your bit there? No. Missed that bit, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say. I still go on her size anyway. Mm. Yeah, I did this to my girls though. See how nice looks. Right. Yes, a deep chest. Right. Now we will start the face. Because everyone says, oh, it's a wasty face. This no. is a very short wasty though, isn't Yeah, it? it's a very short because like I said, I grew a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I brush down everything. You can actually, if you want for the pictures, really to like put some chalk. I always, 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 always start with my ears, yeah? I always set up my ears, and after I set up my ears, uh, both sides look beautiful. Thank you, she said both sides look beautiful. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Julie. But mine is better. But mine is better. <laughs> no, mine is better, not hers. Yeah, just got yourself in the middle of something there, Julie. <laughs> See, mine, look how elegant and This pretty. is my side. No, this is my side. Oh, this is your children. side. Children, <laughs> calm down. You see what you did, Julie? Oh. No, Victoria, stop saying scared of wasted head. It's a round teddy bear face, yeah? This is what you have to think. It's, a, it's not a wasted face. It's a round face, yeah? You have wasted... With, this actually has a nice, nice muzzle, so it has a small muzzle, so it's really nice to create the roundness. Uh, don't be scared because this, what you do to this, you do to your waisties, to your schnauzers. It can be made to sound very technical, but it's not. Exactly. It's a round face with the pointy ears. Yeah. So when I do it, I start first. This is mine? No. Oh, this is yours. <laughs> right. You see when you have so many bloody scissors here. Look. Oh, these are uh, Yeah, stop stealing my stuff. Right. So what I use, I use a, a, fine, a small scissor. And I might have a chunker and a thinning scissor. Um, I, yeah, I normally I'm more organized. Where's my curve? My, right, uh, Artero, they don't have uh, chunkers, uh, curved chunkers. They have just this uh, curve uh, thing. So I normally I will not say, but I will say you, I love. Once after they have the curved uh, things, uh, chunkers, I will buy them, but at the moment... So this is a curved uh, chunker. This is from Power and Work. It's made by the, one of my good friends, Nick Contos. Um, so when you're very good, I This is a butterfly. I have his thinners. 
Oh, she has the status. Yeah. yeah. Cups and cups so and I before I, I before I used to be with uh, with okay. Artero, I used to use a lot of power work. They are really good scissors also. Yeah. So uh, if you have a curve, it's good. Curve thinners, curve chunkers, everything that's curved is good. You know, for round faces. Yeah. Right. So when I do a waistie, I always start to set up my ears. Yeah. So I earlier when I did the prep, I I tip uh, the corner of the eyes. I'll do it. Right, so now what I do, so the longer point basically from the bottom of the ear is like a finger white. And from there, that's my longest point, and from there I go short inside. I've got a question, uh, someone said something, I can't read. So me she me is sort of can be a cousin. Okay, yes, darling, yes, I will brand. And she says to buy a chunk of, a curved chunk of from Nick. Yeah. yeah. When you get the other curved yeah. chunkers, can I have these ones? No. Oh. See how mean he is. Right. So I set up my fair and then I I put the brush again. Put a year and a half. And the long bits that's on this side will match the side that I already cut. This should be pointy, yeah? Should not be round. So you try to do as pointy as possible. Yeah? This is how you set up your head. Yeah? Put it there. I'm happy with how it looks. I, one day, one time I cut the dog ear using a thin scissor and I was cutting, cutting, and I, and I put it like this, he moved, and I, Chopped the ear. Uh, oh, I didn't cut it completely. Yeah, like a Yorkie, yes, and like a Yorkie. I didn't cut the ear, but it did bleed a lot. And uh, ears, tongue, and pads, God, Please. they bleed Please. like hell. Yeah. So once I do that, I do my corner of the eye. Um, you can use a cut of chicken, see that? I like to use a thinner with those. Yeah. It just gives a more natural. Look, rather than using a straight, I feel a bit safer as well. So yeah, that point. So normally, you, you, when you look at the breed standard, they should have hair in front of the eyes because they are digging dogs, you know. So the hair in the front of the eyes, uh, they protect from from dirt. Yeah. Then I brush everything down. Um, normally, I will use. Uh, Normally I I do scissor the head completely, but if I'm rushed, I will use maybe an attach eight on the the longest attachment that I have. I will use on the top of the head. Yeah, I don't go shorter than eight because I like it to be more fuller. And how do you do that? Do you go front to back? So yeah, I will go again. I will go from the back down, and then I will adjust in the front. I might show it now. So so normally I will clean scissor, but if I'm rushing and I don't have time to, I say I have ten minutes to finish the dog. Jill White's asked, any tips for bleeding tongues apart from have a meltdown? I did my first cut tongue the other day. To be honest. Yeah, they say sugar. They um, say sugar, tea yeah. Bags. Tea bags. Tea bags. Well, yeah. dry ones. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think uh -huh. it's a dry one. Oh, okay. Um, oh, this is... No, it might be a wet tea bag. I'll have to look into it. To be that. honest, the, in the end, the bleed will stop. You have to I, just try and keep the dog's mouth closed. Yeah, no, I have actually, what I do, I use some towel paper and I put it on the, yeah, sugar, but yeah. I never use sugar actually. I just put towel paper. I have paper. used sugar, I cut an old English sheepdog's towel, and it works. Oh my God, they never come back to me and I was really upset because it was, the dog licked the scissor, used sugar and it did stop, but I have heard tea bags and I'm not sure about ice. ice. Oh yeah, I heard ice, yes, yeah. ice, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, so attachment eight, I always start from the back. Yeah, I came to help here for a day. On the I cheeks, yeah. Ooh. Exactly how you do with the coca pool, yeah. And then just in the middle, I will back forward, back and forth. And again, that's only taking a yeah. amount of. Yeah, and this is how you check your deck all the time, yeah? And that brings the ears up. Yeah. She looks totally unimpressed. Right. Brush down. So then you take your chunkers and you want to see the corner of the eye. 
But on the French, you want to be a little bit longer, yeah? So you don't so want to. So it's a visor, isn't it? It's always yeah. goes like out and across. Yeah. So from the, the outside corner of the eye. Yeah. Forward. So yeah, it's from the back of the uh, from the corner of the eye to the other corner of the eye, and it's a half moon basically round. That's it. Half moon. That's the word. So I always put my dog a little bit like this, uh, the head a little bit lower, so I know how much I cut. And this is it. And then from the highest point that I cut, yeah, I go round to the corner of, of the mouth. Again, in a so half moon. So the longest moon. point is here, isn't it? No, it's like, it's basically it's here. It comes down and then yeah. it starts to go up. Yeah, and the 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 highest point also. The longest. Point. The longest point it's under the eye. Yeah. So you come so down to your down longest to the point eye and, then, and then up into the. I actually I do prefer when I do faces for all the dogs. I like to keep my dogs up. Just because I feel that when they are sitting down, yeah. you you make the face, uh, um, the shape of the face is changing, you know. So I do like my dog. Try not to trim a dog's head with it sitting down. Yeah. To sort of squish the neck and things. Yeah, they just don't hold it the same. Especially Bichons. Then brush down again, how I did earlier. Everything that's front of the nose, you cut. And then you brush up. So you put all the hair up. You can actually, you can use a little, spray. A little bit of spray. Mm -hmm. I use scissors spray on my teeth yeah. and, and your kids if I'm doing this. Ah, I sometimes use it a bit of hairspray too, just to hold it in place. Yeah. And everything that comes from the back of the ear where, where I cut, when I make set up my ear, I will cut. A straight line, and then I will cut the corners actually, and the under corners. I love these. It's actually a little bit like an Asian fusion, if you think. Yeah, because it's nice and short from underneath the jaw. Yeah, yeah. And that sets the head away from the body. Yeah. Did you use the blade under there? Chin. I didn't actually because it's really short. So if I would use, I would use like a blade six under the chin. Well, okay. No, a uh, on six. Sorry. So where you set up your, you know, when I said the finger, you know, I don't want nothing sticking out from that line. And then brush up, you can actually take, that's why I like this small uh, white, brush up and you, it's again, it's round. And everything that is front of the eye, you cut, round it. Because this is, has a bend, so I can do the bend. Oh, so Victoria's asking what's the difference, she's a newbie, what's the difference between chunkers to thinners? I've never used chunkers. Right, so this is a chunker, you can see the, how wide they are, yeah? So it takes a bulk of coat, uh, and the thinners, you can see they're like much finer. So this is more like a, like a, a straight a curved scissor, uh, but also it's not exactly like, if you have a curved scissor, when you cut with this, you can't really uh, fix it. But with a chunker, you can actually fix it because it doesn't take all the hair, yeah. you know? So it breaks the line up a Break, bit. Yes. It just gives yes. it more of a natural finish and you can get, if you're not great with scissors and you're too scared to go in with a straight scissor, if you... Yeah, so if you're not comfortable, con uh, confident with your uh, straight and, and your, your curves, I do recommend to use chunkers. Yeah, they're just a little more forgiving, aren't they? Exactly. So this is a straight chunker and this is a curved chunker. Um, I used to use a lot of chunkers before, but then I stopped just because I felt I was so lazy using just chunkers and I, I, I do want to use my scissors also, you know. Uh, so once you're comfortable with your curves, I do recommend, with chunkers. the chunkers, I recommend to go slowly, slowly with the scissors also and be like, uh, like this woman here.
I thought you were going to say like me then. Yes, I'm so good. I'm so good. See, I love a pair of these. Yeah, they're really nice. They make life easier for things like this. They do make like is is shape of the of the of the of the face, you know. So everything that's curved. She just said fabulous advice. I'm spending more bloody money. <laughs> yeah. Welcome in my world, darling. Welcome in our world. Welcome to become a dog groomer. You know what? Before I started to be a dog groomer, I used to spend so much money on bloody clothes. I was so obsessed. <laughs> now I was like, I see a scissors, like I see something. I know a gold. Yeah, yes. I do like to spend money. Yeah, me too. Right again, lift the hair. Oh God. <laughs> Don't drop your scissors. That's really a big no no. <laughs> so you remember when I did with the with the with the Shih Tzu this morning? The same again. Lift the hair up. <laughs> so she's just said, and if you're poor and don't have a curved chunker or thinner, you can bl bend, bend one. Them, yeah. You, you don't oh, like. No, don't do that because no. you'll put it out of um, Shitsville life of a groomer. You if you bend <laughs> it, you'll you'll unsink it. It won't work. Yeah, it will not work. It will not work definitely. Right. So this is actually. How you do your Westie teddy bear? It's exactly how I did with the with the with the Westie with the Shih Tzu this morning, but has pointy ears. It's exactly I did the same thing. And yeah, using scissors uh, scissors here rather than a than an attachment going down the cheek. Yes, but I use attachment seven also on the cheeks here. Oh, did you? Sorry. Yeah, I use that seven also. So well, you use the did you use a cabbage attachment? Oh yeah, did yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. But you can lift this like this. And everything that's because I set up my ear earlier, just everything that set in it comes out from my setup from my uh, where I set up the ear, I will cut, you know. But this is a curve, you know, so it's curved into the face. You see? Right, so Madame Cheryl will do the other side and to explain how she does it herself. So obviously I've, cut, I've done my chipper work on my ears, gone around the tip, two thirds. Let me go back. But would you think as a round head or would you think as a westy head? Like how would you... Well, it's just a westy head, isn't it? But a westy head is a round head. Yeah. So uh, I then take my indeed. scissors and where I've clipped the top third, comb everything. Yeah, I didn't there. actually. I didn't do that because normally you need to expose where you cut, actually, you see. I only make it quite a hard line. Yeah, yeah, you need to have a hard line. And again, you're going to pinch that ear and take everything that's in front of the back off. And this is how you set up your ears. There you go. You know, some people, some people they do the face and then they set up the ears. No, I found I it. Start with my, my ears. Yeah, same. I found it easier to to start with with the ears. I blend the back of my head, but you've already done that with the clipper, so I blend yeah. the back, do my ear, and then bring myself round. Now this dog here. Yeah, you see, that's why I go shorter with a blade shorter, just because of this hair. See, yeah. and if you have dogs like this, it it does it make your face look fat, exactly, it? and the shape of the face is changing. Yeah. And it doesn't separate the dog's head. So I've just taken that off there, two seconds with a pair of thinners. And then I comb, because he's already done the cheeks. So I'm going to use curved straights. Yeah, see, I can't use uh, like what she does. I, I wish to do that, but hopefully in maybe another 10 years, <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> like I will do, I, I will use straights and curves when I have a, a hairspray inside. Yeah. So then I'm literally just going to scoop in a what would you say? One it's second, one year? yeah, like a half moon. half moon. So thank you for today all of, uh, I've been head off to barbecue. Oh, that's so not nice. I'd like to head off to a barbecue. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see. Thank you for thank for you watching us. Watching. But again, you, it will be here so any uh, question you have you can uh, text on the and I will reply will reply to you, yeah? Have a lovely lovely uh, barbecue. Barbecue <laughs> and Sunday. <laughs> Comb everything forward. Anything and and this is actually do, this actually due to uh, Asian fusion also. Yeah. Internet. Oh, done. I think it's once I move from here, it's yeah, ridiculous. It's bad. Yeah. So maybe can you? So just to reiterate, so I've gone in a, a, a half half Sp moon shape from the back of the ear. Uh, uh, 
round. Keeping my, I'll keep my hand here at all times so that dog cannot poke its tongue out. So I've got his mouth closed, but I keep my finger there just in case it slips his tongue out. And then I like to come in from the other side. Eight. And just, because I can't use those curved chunkers. So I just come in like this and lightly blend that underline. Here's a little bit of blending just around the back of the ear. So I really want to work with how you do with your scissors, but I'm too scared to be honest. Now, Costi already done the eyes, across the eyes, but you would come out and round. So it goes out that way, then across. Well, there you go. Job done. And again, it's a round face that you do to every single dog, guys. You just need to look from other round. perspective. Short, short, longer, longer. This is your longest point. And under the eye is your longer point. Under the eye is the longest point. And when, he means, when he says under the eyes, he means from here. Yeah, that's your high, <laughs> the longest point, yeah? Mm-hmm. And then, if you want actually to want like for nice pictures, I will show you also. Uh... What you do, you take some chalk. You might be interested in this because I'm hopeless at chalking up heads. Where the blood is my chalk? We'll use some other chalk. I was just going to say it's over there, not the it's tremendous. No, I'm thinking sometimes <laughs> I use a... I use a... Oh, do you use a block? A block, yeah, yeah. sometimes. And you don't have a block anywhere. I've no. got a pot of powder. Right, right so, <laughs> if you want to spray up your head, you have to use chalk because chalk gives. Uh, um, oh God! Jesus! Bloody Christ. hell! I was not expecting to come so long. Gives texture to the coat. It's because it's our hair, right, you see. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's from this. Oh my God! Look how much. That's gonna be a bugger to tidy up. I know. I didn't agree to stay for cleaning. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Actually, I need to go now. <laughs> No, we have the Spaniel still. I'm joking, you plum. So I use some chalk, yeah? If you have a block, you can use a block. I like this brush that you're applying it with. It's just a shaving brush, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, what a difference that's made to the head. Look. I, do you know, I always wonder when you see the show dogs being done and that, like, how do they do it? And now will you put some hairspray in that? Yeah. But this is what we were saying earlier about obviously some clients don't like Yeah, it. some clients they don't like that. I do like this uh, to the client that I know aloud and, and for Facebook also, you know. I just mess it all up. Yeah. It's good to have a, a wider teeth comb. So where did my, oh, there's a grey on one there. So wider as well, D Dianka is saying, try harsh, harsh dust from So Posh. Oh, harsh yeah, harsh. I don't want to try your posh, uh, harsh, harsh. I'll try Cartera, harsh, harsh. <laughs> I'll try it. I'll try it. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's, uh, she sells uh, Posh. So Posh, I think that product's called. So Posh. So I think I've heard of that. Right. And then... Oh, it's like a battle of the brands. Yeah, it is battle of the brands. Oh, oh thank you. Like yeah. And then what I do, I use a um, hair spray. So I'll start from the back. So it's almost like the line lifted. Yeah, well, like, like a line, yeah. So you do this section by section. I need someone to do this with my hair. Good girl. Sometimes I do I use my hands because you see, sometimes I, I put too much and it goes wet. <laughs> <laughs> Styling it out. Normally, to be honest, it does good if you have a, a curve, a curve uh, bend. Oh, Bowie can. Bowie. Yeah, this is Bowie. This is from Colin. You know? Yeah. 
Might have this more one. Two of them. I don't get on with them. No, I've, I've got one, I just. I haven't thought to use it with Westy actually. Very good idea. Yeah. I've only at the moment got one poodle on my books, so, and that's really what I reserved. What I saw people doing actually, they take the stripping knife. Oh, and backcomb it. Ah. To give texture. But is, have you only seen them do that? Because I've never seen anybody do that. Is that in a show? For shows? Yeah. Right. We're not really going to do that in the No, because they're... Good girl. This makes me feel very um, insignificant with my way to use heads. I've always been quite pleased with mine. <laughs> I always get too scared to use too much chalk. Yeah. It's the thing is like you don't you can't use too much chalk. No, but this is it. Now I've seen how crazy you've you got the chalk. chalk it's you good. Know? Yeah. yeah. Dianka says tapiza, baby. Ah, uh, tapez. This, oh, okay. this is what tapez means, like, when you do like this. Ah, okay, yeah. You know? Sorry. <laughs> I'm reading it too literally in English. So all this, you put your hand under the ear. Behind the ear. Behind the ear, sorry. And this is, this is the movement, you know? It's up. So lift, lift. And lift. then I like to give some texture in the front. It doesn't cut the hair, Lydia's asking. I'm guessing that's with the no. back combing. No, it doesn't. No, no. It gives more texture. And then you take your curve or whatever you want. And then take from the front of the ear. So I don't know I'd want to use my scissors on that with all the hairspray and chalk. Does that not blight them? It does, but oh well, what can you do? <laughs> In so Romania for all. Normally, you should, have, you should have all this hair, you should not see, you should basically see just the tip of the ears, yeah, normally. So this, hair yeah? should be... so this hair should be actually here. But it's a pet, you know, so we do a pet, we don't do like a, a proper short side. So this is down. And this is it, this is how you do a, a spray up now, uh, for uh, Westies. <laughs> One of those breeds. <laughs> Dianka yes, said in Romania for old ladies. Yes, like you. Shut her face. No, like her, like Dianka. Oh. Yeah. So this is how you spray up your, your, your Westies, yeah guys? Pretty, and again, yeah? And then it's all this mess that you see on the table here. Yeah. Try to avoid that. Which Costi will be clearing up. And yeah. I will clean it up. Look at this, all over my sins. Can you call for her, please? Yep. So she is she Lottie or is Doesn't he? matter. So yeah. yeah, but is she from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Uh, Janet Cape or Cup, something like that. I so say she is ready for you. Right, so this is. Thank you. <laughs> Diana says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I found it, you know, when I use my. Uh, my uh, Oh, it gives also like a, a comb, like a small comb. Uh, I think I have. Oh my gosh, it made such a mess. Yeah, you see, I have this. You see, so I use this and I will, I will do that. I can put it in the back. So I will just clean now quickly and then we'll do the spaniel. I can't see. What? If she wants, we still have one dog, so I, I think we'll still be another one now. If she wants, if not, I will drop her. Oh, this is yours, uh, Cheryl. Thank you. Right, guys, I'm just clean quickly and we'll start the spaniel now. Uh, if you have any questions about the. Uh, about the. Uh, yeah, I'm gay. I can't do nothing. I don't need to do stuff with me. Uh, any question about the Westy guys? Just oh. comment and I will reply to you. Yeah? Westy. Just I like, made a mess with this bloody chalk. You are messy, brother. Ugh. 
My God! It's such a fine uh, chalk that. Uh... Oh, God. Do you have a dust pan or a hoover? Yes, a hoover. It's in the back over there. Is it a yellow one? Yes. I really like that cover. I really, love that. Yeah, it's really good and strong. I have the, um, the basically what they say is the commercial one, but I hate it. Yeah. The problem with that one, you don't have insurance for that uh, for that one. We talk about this little yellow cartridge. Yes. Yeah. I have the commercial one also, but the commercial one is. <laughs> Sometimes is I just.